I no longer need a screenshot tool to take images of web pages, right? Because now all of the browsers have functionality to help. So we're gonna have a quick look, a comparative review of the features in four main browsers for screenshots. We'll look at Safari, Chrome, Firefox, and the Edge. So screenshots are clearly massively important for testing to gather um, evidence of problems and coverage that we achieve during our testing. So I've used and still use screenshot tools, Snagit, um, Viola, the Windows snipping tool, and my current favorite, which is Cloud App. But for simple screenshots and testing in a browser, how far can we go with just the browser as our tool? Now, it's important that we learn things like this, how far we can actually go, because sometimes that's all we have available. So let's start with Edge. Edge is up here. Let's have a quick look. So Edge has over here the pencil up in the top screen. Now, with the pencil, I can add notes. That's what it says. But there's this snipping tool built in. So rather than get the window snipping tool up, I can do clip here. And then I can select parts of the things on the screen. Da -da -da -da. Copied. Where is it copied? It's copied it into the clipboard. How do I know? Well, let's get the uh, word pad up. Paste that in. There we go. So that didn't look quite good, but I, that might just be the scaling size and the virtual machine. Let's see. Can I make that bigger? Zoom in. There we go. So the screenshot is fine. It's just the um, view that we had of it. Now, that's not bad. Um, what we can also do is I can snip this, snip, and it will actually scroll the page. So if I drag down, start scrolling the page, blah, 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 copy that in, back to WordPad, paste. So that's not bad. That's the kind of basic that you would want from a screenshot tool. And we've got that built in to the Edge browser. Okay, let's have a look at, uh, let's try and get Chrome up. Where's Chrome? There we go, there's Chrome. Now in Chrome, if I do an inspect here, um, I right click, I can copy, not copy the a visual effect there. So it doesn't look like it's got it, but it's hidden away. That's all it's in here. If I go on to the toggle device toolbar and get the responsive or mobile view up, then over here in the ed, I've got the uh, capture screenshot. So I can capture a whatever is currently rendered there in the screen. There we go. And it's downloaded it. So if I open that, In preview, we can see there's no scrolling there because that is just the, the thing that we had selected. If I do capture full size screenshot, then it scrolls down the whole thing. And then you can see, well, is that a bug? It was certainly a bug on my machine at this point in time with whatever plugins I've got that it hasn't rendered back there. But it has effectively copied the entire page and it respects the layout size that we've got so I can copy that as a full screenshot there's the bug there's the download Ta -da. so that's not bad right we have to go into responsive mode and then we can copy whatever is rendered on screen or the full screen that's quite good so let's have a quick look at Safari Right now in Safari, we can, if I right click here, uh, well, I can inspect elements. So let's inspect the element, get that up. Let's highlight a part on the DOM. And then if I right click, let me scroll this up so you can see it. Right click, I can capture screenshot. So that then offers me to save it. So let's save that. And then I've got the screenshot for just that DOM element that we um, selected in the inspect view. That's really useful. Now, what's also good about this is it respects the um, the size of the, the screen that you've got. So we picked that. I should have picked a different one. Let me pick this 
Dom Elmen. Let's take it at the full size. I'll just save it, we'll find it. It's done by order. And again, with the different size, capture screenshot. Oops, let's save it. There we go. So now we've got the one that we did originally, that one that we did as the wide, and then the one that we did in the condensed view. So we're getting the DOM version as an image, and it's a good high quality image, that's nice. So let's have a quick look then at Firefox. Am I leaving the best for last? Answer, yes I am. Right, in Firefox, the screenshot is fantastic. So let me just do an inspect, the same as we did with Safari. Take the Jumbotron. And again, I'll scroll this up so you can see it. Screenshot node. Now that has downloaded it. So if I go off to the downloads and see that, there we've got the image that we just captured. That's quite good. But I don't know if you noticed, when I did a right click here and did, did take a screenshot, now we've got this inbuilt screenshot tool. So I can save the full page, which is done. Then I can copy it to clipboard download it, or I can even upload it to um, Firefox Cloud, which is a new beta service. So I wouldn't necessarily do that if you want private things, but clipboard downloads. If I do take screenshot, I can capture part of it. There we go, whatever is visible. I can take screenshot, and I can just drag, and it works in the same way that we saw the, the snipping tool in Edge. So I can highlight different parts, clipboard, download, save, a bit more flexible than edge, or I can take screenshot and you can see that parts of the DOM are being highlighted as I go through. So let's capture that. Brilliant. That's everything you could possibly want within the actual browser. The Firefox is really, I mean, that wins in this particular thing. I mean, I'll still use um, other tools, but having the capability in the browser will save a lot of time for routine tasks and capturing specific elements. Um, I'll certainly use the browser for capturing specific elements. So this is great for um, documentation as well as testing, really useful functionality to know about. And given that all the browsers tend to compete with each other and they generally achieve parity, hopefully we'll see this level of um, screenshot type taking that's in Firefox in the other browsers as well. I cover much more about technical web testing, the techniques, the technologies, and the theory in my Technical Web Testing 101 online course. So if you found this video useful, then head over to compendiumdev.co.uk slash page slash online underscore training and learn about that. And you can support me on Patreon where I release a ton of exclusive content at patreon.com slash evil tester and remember to click the subscribe button and when you do set up the notifications and then youtube will let you know about any new videos that i add and i'll see you in the next video or pop over to eviltester.com and read all the information there thanks very much